That's my campsite. Didn't set up camp yet. Because <clears throat> it rained a bit. Well, I'm gonna wait a little bit. Appalachian Trail. My campsite is right on the trail, which is quite amazing. It was a long drive, so bear with me today. I'm a little bit tired. I woke up 2:30 in the morning. Drove through some crazy bad weather, and uh, now I'm here. Wow, there's some poison ivy here. No doubt about it. Yeah, Vermont is beautiful. This is the first time I've ever stepped foot in Vermont. And, uh, you could tell there was a lot of rain last night. It was it's very muddy right now. I think I'm heading the right way. If I'm supposed to go this way, um, this would take me to Thunder Falls. Kent Pond. Well, I gotta recheck that map. See what happens. Okay, I'm getting my bearings straight. I was going the wrong way. So yes, everybody does that mistake. Um, I'm on the Appalachian Trail going north. Boy, what a beautiful sight this place is. Man, this is nice here. The trail goes right through the campsite. It goes right through my my campsite, which is 12, but right behind it. So that's pretty interesting. And yes, this, this day is gorgeous. 60s and no humidity whatsoever. Well, we don't have that at home at all in New Jersey. South Jersey's been hot, humid, and everything in between. Rain, thunderstorms. Boy, it's absolutely gorgeous today. Gorgeous. But yep, I'm going to continue on and get to Kent Pond and I'm going to get to uh, um, Thundering Brooks Falls or whatever that is. It's beautiful there too. So, I'll get some on me right. Catch you soon. Well, they got showers here. 50 cents for five minutes. That's unbelievable. It's an indoor shower. So for two bucks, you get like 20 minute shower. That's uh, that's really awesome. That's really, really, really good. And uh, just get my bearing straight with the campground. I got a map and all that. But yeah, this this trail goes right comes right out. Go, comes right out on site 11 and 12, right where I'm camping. Can't get better than this. I knew when I was looking on the maps that it was pretty close to my site, but I didn't realize it came right out to my site. And then, then it goes on. Yeah, what a great place. What a great campground. And yes, yeah, so the trees are beautiful. I know I'm going to love this state. This state is very, very nice. There. Hmm. Very good. Now I'm getting ready to cross Vermont 100. Go across and check out Kent Pond. Like I said, just please bear with me because I had a really long drive. It was really a tough drive. 
very, very, very tough drive. It's uh, had a lot of rain where I came from. Thunderstorms, uh, man, it was tough. But the traffic wasn't that bad, which is great. That helped a lot. So, yep, I'm going to continue on the AT across Route 100 and go from there. Now, this is the start of it right here. This is really pretty. Wow. Look what I'm walking along here. This is unbelievable. Good friends up there. There's a trail right there. Oh man. Vermont is absolutely beautiful. Man. I'm just stoked right now. I can't believe I'm here. It's amazing that I got the time to come here. I'm very thankful for that. Very, very thankful. And uh, there is a lot of pictures and video coming up. Look at that, man. Wow. Wow, this is stunning. Oh my goodness. There's a pond over there called Kent Pond. I'm going to walk down there. I'm going to get you a picture of that. Look at this. What a beautiful start to my trip right here. This is what it's all about. I do have to beware of um can't be food out. Uh, there was a bear sighting. He's not aggressive or anything, but, yeah, he's just curious, and if there's food out, he'll definitely go for it, so, he's just going to keep everything in my pickup, but that's what they told me to do, so, that's the plan. Man alive. The temperatures are just so nice. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to walk right down here, and I'm going to show you what Kent Pond looks like. I want to see it myself. And yeah, you got a great idea what it looks like to your man life. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's hard to have a video that looks like you're really here, but as far as I'm concerned, this video is going to be pretty good, but it really doesn't do the justice. Not at all. I am close. A little stiff this morning because I've been sitting in the vehicle for so long. And I was a little bit hurting this morning, so. Wow, look at my view right here. Man, this is really, really great. Wow. I can't believe I'm in the Green Mountains of Vermont. Green Mountain State. I love it so far. There's the water right there. That game into Kent Room, Kent Pond. You can just see how clean the water is down. Water up here. And I'm gonna have a lot of fun here. So yes, I'm taking a little side trail. here. It's a canoe launch here, which is great. Oh man. It's a little overgrown back here, but it's okay. Yeah, watch for your step in here. It's very nice. Nice place. There's a canoe launch there. That's why you hear bulbs.
have to be real careful in these areas. Rock hopping and everything else. Plus everything is kind of wet from the rain. Man, I am so thankful we cleared out because I didn't know how that was going to work when I got here at the campground. It was just pouring, like not even a few miles before I got here at the campground. It was just awful, 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 awful. Poured so hard on Route 7, it was just, ugh. So when I finally got here, things started to improve a lot. Humidity is just, man, it's just hard to believe how much better it feels here than South Jersey. It's really amazing. And yes, I'm walking along a really nice pond here called Kent Pond. You can see the trees. I walk right out to the, uh, I walk right out to the uh, <clears throat> pond here. Get an idea of what we got going on. Oh my God. It's, it's just breathtaking. Wow. This is just my place. Wild and quiet. But there is a lot of people out too, so I don't blame anybody for not being here today. Look at that tree in the middle of the pond. That's pretty amazing. I just met a through hiker that started April 1st. That's really cool. He told me some really awesome stories with him on the trail. finished what I was saying. Um, that through hiker told me um, Mount Washington there was four people had been rescued off of there two weeks ago. Unexpectedly the temperatures went down below 32 and uh, really was not a good thing. And he was telling me it is the highest dropout rate for through hikers to you know, quit the trail because it was just, the weather was not good, a lot of rain. He said in Virginia, he can count in one hand how many sunny days he had. But as I'm doing that, I am showing you what I'm looking at. Look at these birch trees and the pond and everything else. This is something else. Wow. Loving Vermont. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Man, this is unbelievable. We're walking, I'm walking right along Kent Pond. And it's just stunning. Look at this. Man, the trees are beautiful. The mountains look really, really nice. I love the Green Mountains. Oh my. I love the Green Mountains this much, and I get to uh, Francona Notch, I don't even know what I'm going to think. That's just more breathtaking than I can ever imagine. And I hear that all the time. It's, it's unreal. Just like in a mile, mile and a half, I got my energy back. I was really tired and, and just kind of beat up from the drive. But man, now I am just ready to go and explore everything I can. This is a this is a rejuvenating, much needed break for me. I just love the trees. I love everything I see here. I can't get enough of it. You see a road down there, over there. I can't. 
mess with the roots. Wow. Man, oh man, oh man. Like I said, this is what I'm looking at. Man, live. And look at all these trees. These trees, I think they're hemlocks. I don't even see them at home. It's just South Jersey, you don't see them too much. I knew that was one of the things I was going to love about Vermont, is the trees. And that is definitely the truth so far. So, still continue along Kent Pond. This is a long hike around that pond. <clears throat> it is because it's really gorgeous. Some nice trees here. I really love it. Even there are hemlocks. Boy, they are pretty. Yeah, the guy even told me it's the in Virginia it was a whole bunch of rainy days. And they said a lot of parts of Pennsylvania was closed because of all the rain, which that really is pretty bad. I hope that's not too bad. Um, so we like going out there also, doing some day hikes on the AT. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Just continuing along the trail. A lot of, lot of tree cover right here. I'll be back. It's funny, I found some blackberries back there, which I'm very surprised. Tells you how different it is from here to New Jersey. New Jersey, they would have been gone a couple months ago. So yeah, this is this is something else. It's really different here. Temperature is really really comfortable. So there's a creek up here. I have to cross this. I think I did. This is what you do. I'm going to attempt it soon. Huh? No. Yeah, that's... That's the stuff you throw, so you uh, uh, do that. Firms are pretty. Very nice. Tell you what, Vermont is way different on the Appalachian Trail than I've ever experienced. Believe it or not, when you get through these pine sections, the needles, it's really nice on your feet. You just never know what you come across when you're hiking here. That's exactly what I like about this. Some ferns, all sorts of different things like that. Whatever that is, I don't know. Very cool. Man, what a nice. 
this place. <clears throat> There's some big trees on this stretch. Just past a really big rock also. There's another one right there. Not as big as the last one I saw. I'm walking along here. And it looks like it's getting a little dark. I really hope that we ain't gonna get rain. Get a little wet here. We'll see what happens. Still a really nice day. It did warm up a little bit, and humidity's a little bit there, but not that bad. It's still very nice. So, yeah, this is what we're doing. I am chugging along here trying to get to Thunder and Brook Falls, wherever that is. And I'll see what happens. See what it looks like. So I'm hiking along here, and uh, it's getting very dark. It might rain. I don't know what it's going to do. It could be very possible. Um, but I'm going to plug along. I'm going to get there and check out these falls. And. Uh, Man, I've been going downhill quite a bit here. And mosquitoes are out also. So yeah, this is this is what it looks like in Vermont. Very cool. Okay. I'm about three miles from three quarters of a mile from Thunder Falls. I think it's a half a mile from Thunder and Falls Road. So I'm really close to getting here now. And you can just see how the forest changes through here. Very pretty. Very, very nice. And yeah, I'm a little bit of, out of breath because um, there's been a lot of kind of like up and downs. And it kind of get you heart pumping but boy this is some kind of forest it's a real thick green forest through here and it's pretty too and it's sort of dark I keep thinking it's going to rain I don't know I might you know get wet I really bring my rain jacket I didn't think it was going to rain anymore today but whatever we'll see what happens tomorrow i'll be geared up to do all that stuff i just wanted to do this short hike to the falls and all that because this this was a pretty good hike and there's a lot to see here so i'll continue on and i'll be back there's a lot to see here i think these are these hemlock pine trees they're everywhere man this is awesome I'm sorry to uh, keep cutting off. Sometimes <clears throat> I have people coming. Not everybody would like to be on film. I try to respect their privacy. Um, but whatever that was back there, that was pretty neat. I, I believe there was some type of fern. Wasn't sure. But there's all kinds of different plants out here that I don't even come close recognizing in the pine barrens. I don't see a lot of it. I know these ferns would get these in South Jersey. Um, but those little things, I wasn't sure what they were. Um, anybody knows? Uh, let me know. I'd like to find out about that. And you can find that under Robert Lawns at <clears throat> gmail.com. It would be Robert Lawns, L A W N S, at gmail.com. If you knew, know what that is, I'd like to know. So, yes, I'm, 
I believe I'm 0 0.6 from the falls. And I'm going to check that out. I'm here. I'm going to. That's one of my highlights of this day is to walk this to these falls, which is going to be pretty nice. Hopefully it don't rain on me. That's going to be a, that's a whole nother story. But if it does, oh well. It's all good. I'm here. I don't care what it does. As long as it don't lightning. I've seen enough of that on my trip. I've seen enough of that this morning. Driving up here to Vermont. Sure. <clears throat> yeah. This state is beautiful. No, there's not a lot of views here. It's a lot of covered, like like uh, a lot of forest and all that but you know it'll get better I go up Killington tomorrow <clears throat> I should have a great view up there another thing is kind of crazy I see people I hear having a beer in their hand that's like whew, I'm not used to that I see that because New Jersey you can't walk out state forest with a beer in your hand or anything. Even the campground I'm at. It's a state campground and you can have beer on a campground. That's what I I think you can. I don't know if that's true or not, but wow, that's weird. That's the case, uh I'll sit down tonight, have a little fire, and have one, and go to bed and relax. So yeah, I see some more of these. And oh man, look at this. It's a little bit hard to see here. I see a view of a mountain there. It's going to be really hard to see through these trees. There's a lot of leaves on the trees. And this is nice. This is great, man. I love this hike so far. This is what I've been waiting to do for weeks now. I just have to do this once in a while. It helps me sort things out in life and allow me to just chill out. I know hiking is a physical physical thing, but I don't mind the physical part. It's the mental part. It's a big boost to me. I was dead tired when I got here, only because it was just such a long drive, and being up really, really early, 2.30, and, and not only that, just driving through the weather conditions in North Jersey, you get a little bit of traffic, and it makes it that much worse, so. Believe it or not, North Jersey wasn't that bad at all for its traffic. But when it was pour down rain and like that, it's uh, it's not very good. You can't see that good, and it just wasn't easy to travel here today. But boy, am I grateful to get here! Wow, this is really, really a pretty state. And someday, I wish I could get back up here again in the mount in the winter time. I know if you didn't have these leaves on these trees the views are going to be phenomenal I could just see kind of through the trees what the mountains look like and it would look really 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 awesome so I'm going to continue on I'm going to save some film for when I get the thunder and falls I know where they got the term of vermud it definitely is right it's very muddy right now found a lot of spots where it's very mucky and that some kind of mushrooms boy there is a lot to see on this trail whoa I almost took a fall there um there's a lot to see I know I hear thundering falls ahead of me I can hear it from here so that is going to be very interesting that'll be our next 
next destination unless I find something really cool in between this. But I do hear it. And that's going to be real good. We'll be back.
can't get much better than that, can you? You just can't get better than that. The platform down there, a bunch of people. Look at that down there. It's straight down there underneath those rocks. Wow. How cool is this? How cool is this? Really unreal. It just keeps going and going and going. Man. Absolutely stuck. Look how far that goes down there. Man. Man, oh man. One incredible waterfall. Really. Higher than Buttermilk Falls in New Jersey. It's a little steep getting up here. So be careful with your footing and all. But man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is absolutely breathtaking. Absolutely stunning beyond compare. Man, look at this. Man, I just can't get over that. Oh my God. Oh man, this place I love. Vermont is the state. Oh my god. Look how far it must drop. 20 feet below that. Look at this. Oh my god. What a good choice coming down this way. Because some of the guides and some of the ones I looked at, it was almost like a trickle, which is not much. And since we had all this rain lately, this has been, this is, this is, this is a great, great deal. Look at that. My God. Wow. Alright. Came back down from that. You gotta be careful coming down those things. Uh, those roots are slick. Yeah, this is what I'm looking at. Oh my God. So this is what I'm looking at now. So a little boardwalk. I just passed the falls. They're back there. You can probably still hear them. It's raining just a little bit. Actually it feels pretty nice. This is beautiful. Man. Yeah everybody. This is what I am looking at now. Waterfall. At the mountainous terrains. Oh my goodness video will never do it justice on that at all I could take some great pictures great video I don't care what anybody says what I feel this is incredible this place is unreal that waterfall was the most amazing waterfall I've ever seen that was huge had it been every bit of 400 feet tall you couldn't see it all at one shot. You had to climb up there and see the rest of it. That's why I took a bunch of video of it. Because I just kept going up and checking it out. Right now it's currently raining. But it's warm. And it's really nice. And this is what I'm walking on right now. What a nice boardwalk here. What a great place. Look at this. Man. I'm going to have to start heading back soon. <clears throat> and start breaking down camp. Before it gets dark, get some food and all that, and have something going tonight. Well, oh my god, what a place! What a really good hike! Good, good hike. So, yep, yeah, I believe it's gonna pour real soon. I'm continuing down this boardwalk, <clears throat> and boy, the views are getting better and better. <clears throat> wow, look at this. Man. So far, I am loving Vermont by a lot. I said it too many times, but this is, this is phenomenal. I love it so much. We'll be back.
boy, if that trail goes up there, I don't know if I'll do that today. That is really, really, really high. Looks like a pretty steep climb. Yeah, the Vermont Green Mountains are really tall. So, I made it to this road here. And I'm turning around, I'm going back. It's starting to rain pretty good. And, uh, I just want to get back on time and do a couple things. So yeah, the waterfall's next to me over here, you can hear it. I'm heading up and back to the campground. And, uh, yeah, this is a really awesome day here. Boy, I really like it so far. I think Gifford State Forest is, Gifford Woods is a great campground. This will kick your butt a little bit going up like this. But yeah, boy, this was breathtaking. This climb out of Thunder and Falls is no joke. It's really steep. Boy, I had a great time there. That was just phenomenal. It's nice when you have these steps here. Because when you get on these roots here, you can, uh, especially when they get wet, they can could take a pretty good fall so yeah this is what I'm looking at come back to the road I'll be crossing that and it's just so broke oh man that was great that was worth the up and down by a long shot see no overnight camping, and that's true. Pack your trash. Very true. I agree with that one. That's the falls. Still making my way back to camp. It was raining a little bit there for a while, but it you can't really feel it. It's uh it's rather light. Not only that, there's so much tree cover that you don't even feel it. Holds a lot of that back. But yeah, this is uh boy, this was a great hike today. One worth it. One trip that was really worth it. I wanted to check out those falls. That was like that was that was definitely one of the hikes I wanted to do in Vermont. Yeah, if everything goes right tomorrow, I go up Killington, and Monday, everything goes right, I'm looking going up Stratton Mountain, and then Tuesday of next week, or this week, if everything goes right, I'll try to make my way over to the Franconia Notch loop trail which that is really amazing so I really hope I could get to do that one it's uh just not sure how how I'm gonna do it yet but uh man I'll tell you what I feel like I'm really out of shape at this point I haven't hiked in a while and boy it's not real easy when you just jump back into it but another day or two I'll get my legs back Start feeling good and be able to do anything. First, you just gotta work your way back into it. But anyway, this is what's still looking like in here. Going back, going back sometimes has a different view than going up. And yeah, I get back and I get food and I'm gonna try to set up camp. 
and that would be really cool. Hopefully that'll work out. And then hopefully it won't rain tonight. Maybe I'll have a little fire. And a little chipmunk. Red squirrel. Huh. Here it is. Look at that. If you could see that or not. <laughs> That's cool. Come a little close there. Tell you what, when you're out here, you never know what you see. You never know what you see. But boy, they, they got that right on Vermont. It is muddy. It's very, very muddy. And um, if you're going up or you're going down, man, be careful when you step on the roots. Because if they're just a little wet, boy, you could go down. When I was at the falls, I took a little bit of a slip there. But I'm, I'm quite fine. But it goes to show you that. Watch your step. I showed those before. There's some kind of mushrooms. You look at those, like those mushrooms that one guy we watched. His name was Puma Ghost Walker. He uh, always had a thing for mushrooms. He'd eat them all the time. They look like the kind you could eat. I'm not taking that chance. <clears throat> but, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff growing. Woods is still dense and green. <coughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm still a little out of breath after that climb out of the Thunder and Falls. Wow, that was really... Really amazing, huh? Oh, man, I don't care what anyone says, that was so worth it. That was one of the highlights there. And I'm glad that we got a lot of rain to be able to see the full the full effect of those falls. We have a lot of water coming down those things. Like I said, you uh, think it's big when you stand there on that platform. If you just keep going up and the waterfall just it just it just keeps on going. That was really awesome. There's a lot of water moving through there. So yeah. Definitely mud and roots in Vermont so far. Very, very cool. So, maybe we'll get some sun later on today. Get things dried out a little bit. And it'll be good if I can have a fire tonight. That's my plan. So, I will be back. So yeah, this is like a really nice section. A lot of pine trees back here. I love it. This is great. What a good day. It did rain a bit, a little bit. It didn't even get wet. But yeah, you get an idea what it's like in here. This is pretty neat. Got a little bit of waterfalls, or not waterfalls, a little creek. Got a crossover with with your uh, couple little boards here. It's a little tricky this section, but let me make sure I get across this. Again. Yeah, what we gotta do is kind of 
stick one like this. Just take her easy, one step at a time, slowly. And then what you do is you put your checking poles down. That's your that's your third leg right there. Just checking poles. Gotta remember it's not flat either, so you gotta kinda go sideways. You can see that. Eh, it works though. Yeah, that's what it looks like back here. When you come up to here, there's a bunch of boulders. Pretty cool. Yep, so I'm getting back to the pond. And It's pretty nice here. Such a great, great, great trail that goes around the pond. Not around it, it skirts along it. You can get plenty of views. It's just a nice little area. Sure like it. Wow. There's a lodge up there, which is pretty neat. I don't know what they got there, but... So yeah, that glacier trail cuts across the field. Here's that Kent Pond again. So, what a good day. I'm getting closer to the campground. Huh. Boy, I didn't see this before. Springer Mountain is 1,680 miles. I didn't see none for... Huh. I didn't see no sign for Katahdin, but... But boy, that tells you, that's a long ways. You know what? It, it keeps changing. That sign was probably made back, and then every now and then they keep rerouting it. <clears throat> I think we're in the 1700 mile mark. So, that could have changed between all the reroutes, and sometimes you get some storms, and they have to change the route of the trail where it got washed out. They have to make it a little bit longer, so. Yeah, we're pretty. I'm pretty far north, up around that 1,700 mile marker. That's that's pretty amazing. All right, this is what I'm looking at. I'm gonna get back to camp, and I'm gonna get some food and start setting up camp. So again, that's Kent Pond. Give you an idea how much of this forest is covered. Thick greens, which is pretty cool. I like it. I know it rained pretty good there and actually protected you from the rain. So, yeah, you see the mountains in the background. And I'm heading back. I'm coming back to this interesting spot here. Again, I like it. Another like waterfall. That's amazing. Two waterfalls in one day. You can't beat that. That is a really, really uh, good thing. And you know, with all the rain, it's making that much more spectacular. Very nice. Yeah, this is, whoop, this is what I'm looking at right now. Bridge here. It goes out to Tent Pond. 
Wow, very good. You can see him up there also, way up there. The stream runs down. Very nice. I had a great day. So far, I am loving Vermont by a lot. I said it too many times, but this is... This is